Well, it is June 25th. Dylan and I came over to this property out here in central Wisconsin, and we're going to do some land work this weekend. Hang some stands, trim some langs, cut some grass and some lanes and stuff like that. I uh, got over here, and it's actually raining for the next hour or so, which is fine. Uh, we got some stands we got to throw together, so we're going to do that here quick. Hopefully, by the time we get that done, the rain's done, so we can go out and hang some of these and, like I said, trim, trim some tree lanes. But, yeah, we're going to spend the day here, probably spend the night, do a few things in the morning, call it a weekend, but it's time to get to work. Brent and I just finished uh, putting all the tree stamps together, getting that prepped for today. Uh, and then uh, we actually just went and helped our neighbor pick up one of his uh, enclosed blinds that he had. About a week ago, we had a pretty nasty storm come through here. Actually took down a bunch of big trees on our property. We had at least probably 10 big trees, including a couple oak trees, um, one of our trees that we have on our tamarack food plot stand uh, actually took out our whole stand and everything so uh, we've got a bunch of work back there kind of cleaning up some trees I want to go through all of our tree stands um, there's plenty to do hang a few stands back there and and uh, get some stuff ready for the, the fall but we're gonna have to get the chainsaw gassed up and head back there First thing we're going to check out is a stand we called Dough Plot. And uh, we usually plant a bunch of radishes and stuff in here. We'll get to that probably at the beginning of August. But we're going to go up, check the stands. Kind of, I can see that we maybe got some new growth here that we got to cut out. And uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of tree stands to do so. Um, yeah, so now we just got to the Tamarack Woods uh, food plot that uh, we ended up actually losing our main tree stand out of this plot, which is a bummer because uh, we've pretty much lost all the trees in the woods now. I mean, probably over 50% of our Tamaracks died in there in the last couple of years, which is pretty sad. And then we struggled to have trees on the property the way it is, and then we lost a bunch with the storm. So. Um, my plan is we're going to maybe set up a ground blind here in the next couple of weeks, um, kind of tuck it in this falling down tree. Um, but we do have another tree on the food plot that we're going to start to utilize as kind of maybe our main stand here. Uh, I'm going to go in and take down the, the cameraman stand out of this tree and reuse it somewhere else. We've been getting through uh, the stands slowly but surely, um, just kind of making sure everything's trimmed out good, uh, making sure all the stands are fastened down good. But now we're kind of getting close to finishing up for the day. Uh, we're at the pretty much the last stand we're going to clear out. It's a stand that sits on the north end of our oak woods, and honestly, I, I think I only hunted it maybe once last year. And uh, sitting during the rut. Uh, I came I just started thinking about how the deer were moving on our property maybe and this is an area I really want to focus a little bit harder on this here to uh, the west of us is all the thick bedding um, there's like thick phragmites uh, out in the marsh here it's really tall tall grass and uh, I think a lot of the deer actually bed in there and then right to our east is uh, a cornfield 
and uh, I think this little north area on our north woods is uh, is pretty good travel area here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up uh, a vine here. We're gonna hang it up, and uh, we're gonna kind of get a scrape going. It's about 20 yards from the stand, and uh, we're gonna look for a vine and, and get that hung up here. But um, I kind of walk through kind of what my process is gonna be while hanging this. So typically, I kind of want to look for uh, a vine that's like in a, a one, one, like roughly like a one inch diameter, um, something that's big enough. I think sometimes if you go too small, it's not the best. Um, so we're gonna, we've got, it actually works out perfect, a bunch of vines right in the area that uh, we're gonna hang it here. You kind of want to find a live one as well. I got some zip ties here that I'm gonna try to rig it up and hang it on this tree here. So we got it hung up here. Um, we kind of hung it kind of at waist level here. It's a little, maybe a little low now, but I guess once the, the leaves on the trees fall down and uh, it'll end up lifting up uh, this branch because the weight of the leaves are gone. So um, you can tell this, this vine was alive because it's just dripping here. Um, that's why you kind of want to look for a vine that's still alive, but it's probably only a 20 yard shot to the tree um, so I'm gonna get unfortunately I do not have a camera out here today but next weekend I'm gonna set up all my cameras and I'll get a camera on this scrape here and see how it does I'll be interested to see how the deer kind of flow through this area but uh, we've got I'm gonna hang one cameraman stand up in uh, this tree here quick and then uh, that's probably all I got here for today Are, uh, just about ready to rock here. Um, Benny's got just a few more stumps, maybe two, three more stumps to go over there. Uh, we've got like a ton and a half of lime to spread, uh, pella lime. So I'm gonna start spreading on this half, and then uh, we've got a bunch of fertilizer, and then we'll start planting. Um, we're just gonna spread the lime. We'll hit it one more time with the disc, and then uh, we'll put the fertilizer and beans down, and then just disc over it real lightly just to kind of cover them seeds. Supposed to get a little rain early this week, so hoping it works, hoping it works out well for us. Well, we're gonna do a first light in the field here. These are the 
first light bramblers. Um, it's just a gator. They work really nice for you know, working in muddy areas or shed hunting. You know, I use them for both quite a bit. Uh, don't have to wear a rubber boot then when it's hot and your feet are sweating and uh, you don't want to get all sweated up. It works pretty good for keeping mud and dirt out of your boots and stuff and keeping you dry. So really like the product. Highly recommend them. Well, we were able to uh, get all our lime in last night. Um, we got it dissed one more time, all ready for, for seed and fertilizer. So uh, we did a little drive around this morning and checked it out. It was pretty dark when we finished up last night, but it leveled out pretty nice for us. Um, we're just gonna, we've got like three, 400 pounds of fertilizer to put down, uh, potash, and then uh, a couple bags of seeds. Well, that's a wrap on this one. Um, we just got all the seed covered up. Uh, we we're actually supposed to get a little rain this afternoon and I believe a little later this week. So we're, uh, we're pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, we'll, we'll be back in here in the next couple months to hang a couple sets and uh, check it out. So um, it didn't turn out bad at all for the first time planting. I think if we, you know, if the beans don't work out for us, I think we could definitely uh, level the seed bed a little better in the fall when we replant, but it uh, it, it worked out pretty well. Well, it's end of June here. Um, got the landmark blind. Went to Cumberland, picked it up from the River's Edge shop, and uh, we're gonna get her all put together here. We're gonna tuck her right in these these pines here. Get a little bit more cover once the leaves go. Um, got about three acres of beans in here. They're pretty ate off already, so I. I feel like we're going to be replanting early uh, August, I'm guessing, but I guess we'll see what happens. Well, we got her all set up here. Um, she's tucked in pretty good. We just gotta swing back tomorrow and clip some shooting lanes. She's kinda, kinda a jungle in there, but I think it's gonna tuck in nice. We shouldn't get busted. Be awesome setup. That color of that blind blends in awesome too. Should work out. <laughs> 